Hello and welcome back. I thought today I would do uh, some picking on video because I've been doing a lot of giveaways recently so I've got to make sure I keep those uh, skills up. Uh, this one arrived fairly recently from eBay so I thought we'd give this one a go uh, picking in this little um, uh, mortise cylinder. So this one is a Ruco. I've got some keys for it there. Some nice bit in highs and lows and it looks like we have got a five pin there. Now when these pop up on eBay, I can't really uh, resist them. I've got a real affinity for Ruco locks, as a locks as well. Uh, but the Ruco in particular, uh, quite often there'll be gins or barrels um, and a variety of the counter million. Now the, the gins uh, are only effective when it comes with the correct counter million. The barrels are only effective when they come with the correct, correct counter million in the plug. Um, and I've just had a real mixed bag of these over these. Perhaps that's part of the excitement that you just don't know what you're going to get uh, when it arrives. So it can be a real fun to pick it. Uh, I have had locks where I've had gin drivers up top um, and no counter milling. I've had gin counter milling with barrels, which funnily enough, actually, I got a lock a little while ago and that had the, it had the barrels and the gin counter milling in the plug. And I th uh, it was picking it and I just, I just couldn't get through it. It didn't feel like gins. It didn't feel like barrels. It was a real kind of anomaly. I think in the end, before I managed to pick it, I ended up stripping it down because I was quite frustrated. Um, and when I saw that it had barrels and the gin milling, I was quite surprised that it was so difficult to pick because those two types of milling are not designed to work together as far as I'm aware. Um, so it was a bit of a, a bit of a strange one, but um, I think the the barrels seem to grab quite well in the um in the gin milling so uh, and also it had uh, some crazy bitting on it real high in the back so i needed some real thin picks to get up there so anyway we'll get this one in the vise and we'll see uh, we'll see if we can get it picked and then we can see what's inside so i've got to set up in the vise there and we just need to grab a tensioner that one will do but it's a bit thin that one's more of a more of a snug fit it's a bit sloppy but it should do and i think because we've got quite a wide open keyway i'm going to treat myself and use this pick that i got from um the legendary tiffany uh fantastic pick maker so let's zoom you in and see what we got okay I generally go uh, clockwise when I pick. I don't know why, there's no particular reason to. All right, moderate tension. Let me just feel through those pins. That's five binding. Tiny little click on five. Tiny little click on two. Tiny little click on four. That's four again. Oh, that was five. It looks like we just dropped into a full set. Tiny click on one. So if it's a false set like that, I'd imagine there's gins in this, but let's see if we get any counter rotation. <laughs> that was a little, that was a little tickle um, on five and it just jumped straight open. Uh, actually, that was far too quick. Let's see if we can do that again. Yeah, so if you got if you get the full set, then you're probably likely to have gins in there. Um, but I didn't need to do any float picking, so it's likely that there's gonna be no counter milling. Uh, let's go anti-clockwise, see if that gives us, oh no, yeah. Tension wrench was just slipping a bit there, but it seems locked in there. Small click on two, small click on five, and it dropped into a full set again. Everything feels a little bit springy in there at the moment. Oh no, five. A little click on five, but that might have been an overset. Just let off the tension a little bit. I'm going to 
reset reset that one because it just it felt like I'd overset something. set I think we have four binding one two three four he's not playing ball now Definitely easier to pick uh, clockwise, unless that was a fluke. Drop something then. And I've got a little click on four and five, so I've got those reset, I think. Small clicks on five, one, two, and three just feel springy. Or wanting to be picked. Count rotation on five. Well, it's definitely putting up more of a fight um, counterclockwise. I'm going to increase the tension here, see if it talks to me. Full set. I think that heavy heavy tension seems to be paying off. A little click on one. Come on, where are you? Small click on five. Well, that was a small click on two and we finally got that open. Now, I don't know if that was really uh, difficult to pick that way um, or I was just getting a bit flustered, which happens sometimes when you're picking, especially when you're picking on film. Um, I'm going to leave that uh, just like that because sometimes as well I have found <clears throat> with Rucos or with the Asses you, you can get Master Wafers in there so um, we'll just see if we've got any of those in there. Let's get the right screwdriver tip, that always helps doesn't it? <clears throat> uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do them upside down. Difficult to hold. There we go. Hold the keyway while we're trying to gut it. <clears throat> now, because this doesn't have a channel or anything on the back, there's nothing for the pins to get stuck in. So we should should be okay just to go straight in with a follower and see what we got. Yeah, so there's no counter milling in there. That's all. 
There was nothing for anything to grab onto. Three is a very uh, low lift. Oh, get you in <laughs> on frame. Three is a very low lift pin. So let's see what we've got in here. <clears throat> Generally, all standards. Uh, the pins in Asas, uh, sorry, in Rucos. Let's see what we got up top. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's some nice gym pins in there. When I, when I see them, uh, these gyms in locks that don't have a counter mill in, uh, I do sometimes, another gin there, I do sometimes feel they're wasted because um, they're not as effective as they can be with that uh, counter milling. I did do a video actually, which I'll, <clears throat> I'll link it up there, which was an ASA 600. Uh, Asa 600 with gins and the, and the counter million. Uh, I think I had to float pick that one. So you can get a better idea of what's involved there. If it does have the counter million. I think we've got all the springs. Might be missing one. I'll have a look for that later. Uh, so yeah, so you've got the um, those beautiful gin pins there. And no counter million. But yeah, it was kind of weird that it I mean, I, I'll have to look back at the, the time signature and see how you know quick it took me to pick it when I was picking clockwise because it seemed like I just you know tapped each pin twice and it opened probably less than a minute. And then picking it counterclockwise uh, was much more tricky. But um, I don't know if that was me oversetting it and not really concentrating on picking because I'm looking at the camera. Um, anyway, uh, real nice picks these are and I'll probably continue to to pick these up when I see them because they're always a mystery. You don't know what you get. And even if you do get just the you know nice gin pins and no counter million, they can be really fun to pick uh, because the gin pin acts more like a spool and you get some nice counter rotation. I think counter rotation is just makes a lock really kind of uh, fun to pick. At least it does for me anyway. So I always like picking spools. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.